The congregation, please stand for the bride. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We are gathered here in the presence of God and these witnesses to unite Adam and Jackie in holy matrimony. Who gives this woman to be joined with this man in marriage? Adam, will you have Jackie to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, please say, I will. I will. Jackie, will you have Adam to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If so, please say, I will. I will. Will all of you, by God's grace, uphold and care for Adam and Jackie in their life together? If so, please say, we will. Let us pray. Gracious God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to reveal your love to all people. Enrich Adam and Jackie with every good gift, that their life together may show forth your love, and grant that at the last we may all celebrate with Christ the marriage feast that has no end. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. You may be seated, and we will continue with the readings. A reading from 1 Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, have not love. I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to flames, but have nothing, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in the evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace, Christ, the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitudes in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. 
This is the word of the Lord. Over the past year, I have had the pleasure of getting to know Adam and Jackie in the adventures of wedding planning and premarital counseling. They say that opposites attract, and that's a good thing, because Adam and Jackie balance each other out. They can build off of each other's strengths and help each other see things in new ways. And they have a strong connection because family is so important to both of them. Whatever comes their way, Adam will probably throw a party, and Jackie, she'll organize it. But seriously, they know that they have support from family and friends, and you are always partners on the same team. Yet, you are separate enough to care for each other as individuals with your own interests. Today, you are truly forming a partnership. Your marriage today is about sealing that partnership with faithful promises that you will make to each other in the presence of God and family and friends. And these promises are not always easy to keep. But the one who always keeps his promises, Jesus Christ, has been given to you as the foundation of your marriage. Christ in entered into a new covenant and a new relationship with us, laid down his life for us, so that we might live in love and gratitude. In marriage, you will enter into a new covenant with each other. As Christ sacrificed himself for us, so your love must be a sacrificial love. Remember that marriage is a covenant of love and forgiveness, and that where there is forgiveness, there is new life. We live from that hope alone. Now, do you remember in our counseling how we talked about the love triangle, the good love triangle? Well, I brought an actual picture of this. And if you imagine that you two are at the bottom here, and Christ is the anchor point of this triangle, it's a visual picture. As you move closer and draw nearer to Christ, so you will draw nearer to each other. So what I'm saying to you is that the most important thing that you can do is to commit to inviting Christ into the center of your marriage. As the Proverbs so wisely advise, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. The power and promise of your love and commitment are strong. And the promise and the power of Jesus' love for you and for us is even stronger. Live and grow in that kind of generous love. Just as Jesus called the disciples friends and laid down his life for his friends and for us, you are, in a sense, laying down your old life of individuality today and becoming truly one. In a few moments, you will present each other with rings, a symbol of your love and commitment to one another, but also a symbol of God's presence. Just like a ring is round and has no end, God's love for you never ends. It has no beginning, it has no end. As a very wise pastor once said long ago, marriage comes from God. It is not your love that sustains your marriage, but from now on the marriage that sustains your love. My prayer for you is that your marriage might be a sign of faith, hope, and love, and forgiveness as you love one another now and forever. May you truly live in the joy that Jesus intends for all of us. Amen.
kiss each other and take each other's hands. We'll start with you, Adam. In the presence of God in this community, you say that now. In the presence of God in this community. I, Adam. I, Adam. Take you, Jackie. Take you, Jackie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. And to cherish. To cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Now it's your turn. Repeat after me. In the presence of God in this community. In the presence of God in this community. I, Jackie. I, Jackie. Take you, Adam. Take you, Adam. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Now it's time for the rings. You can just set them right in the middle there. Thank you. All right. So Adam, you take her ring. Okay. Take her hand. There you go. Say, Jackie. Jackie. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. Adam, yeah. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. And faithfulness. Adam and Jackie, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. with the marriage blessing. Put your hands up there. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among, among us, to be born of a human mother and to endure the cross for our sake, that we may have abundance of life. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing on Adam and Jackie. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let your love be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them so that their lives together may bear witness to your love. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to the table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The congregation, please stand for the prayers. O 
On this day of rejoicing, let us bless God for divine love made flesh in Jesus Christ. We praise you, O God, for the joy that Adam and Jackie have found in each other, and we pray that their love and faithfulness may reflect your gracious love and enrich our common life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give them gentleness and patience, affection and understanding, readiness to trust one another, and when they hurt each other, grace to acknowledge their fault and to give and receive forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy, use us to support Adam and Jackie and their lives together. Give us such a sense of your constant love that we may use all our strength in a life of praise of you. Lord, in your mercy, strengthen and bless friends and family gathered here, even as we call to mind those who are absent from us. Console those who mourn the loss of loved ones and be present with those for whom love is a stranger. Lord, in your mercy. Most gracious God, you have made us in your image and given us over to one another's care. Hear the prayers of your people that unity may overcome division, hope vanquish despair, and joy conquer sorrow. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The blessed and holy Trinity make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace now and forever. Amen. You may now kiss each other. And you can turn. I am pleased to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Adam Zerbel. <laughs> <laughs> 